Welcome to Witch Peace Craft. This is my first video, so I hope you'll be a little bit patient with me. I have friends who know I use this yarn and my knitting groups and market stalls, and I always get asked about it. And my friend said, why don't you do a review so people can check it out for themselves. So here goes. I'm going to review Bella Baby Tiz. In Australia it's an 8 ply, probably in the US it's equivalent to a 3 weight. It's a lovely yarn, it's quite soft, it's made in Turkey, it's 95% premium acrylic and 5% polyester. The polyester, I don't know if you can see it, is that glitter through it which makes it lovely. It's lovely for baby products and little girls like it because it sparkles. It's easy to work with, both knitting and crocheting. Um, I use it for both, and I like the finished product. It's, when it comes to frogging, I'm a little rough. So sometimes the metallic thread might break on me. So my suggestion is if you're going to frog it, be careful so you retain the quality of the product to reuse it again. Um, the colors, it doesn't have color names just has colour numbers. This one here is hot pink um, and this is a little shrug. I don't know if you can see it in the finished product that I made for the little girl next door. She'll be picking that up later today. Where I live it's quite warm and I don't really really need heavy knitwear but at night it can get cool and they need something a little cool and this, this yarn is ideal. This is the lemon. It's a baby jacket I've made. Um, quite like I like all the colours. I was gonna say, um, and this is a little another little girl's shrug. This is a pattern from Yarn Inspirations. I think it's a free pattern. I can't quite remember. Um, it's Trinity Stitch knitting. I really like this pattern. I've probably made six. Of these for gifts for different little girls I know um, in all colors and this is there's a soft baby pink it's a little poncho I make um, I don't know where this pattern came from I've made it since I was young you know, just recently instead of fringe I've been in, adding, um, adding a shell edge for babies um, I think one mother told me their fingers get caught up in the um, fringe and she wanted a shell edge. So it's a little poncho I've made. Let's turn it around with a little matching hat. You can see that. So there you go. My only disappointment with it is I really like it in lavender. I get asked all the time, can I do something, make something but lavender and it doesn't come in lavender it just comes in the hot pink which is here the soft pink the aqua and the yellow I had sent spotlight emails and I've asked the staff at my local spotlight if they would consider getting it in lavender I get no response um, it comes in 50 gram balls um, normal price is around four dollars a ball um, you can get it on spotlight sales. I've been known to get it for 50% off, which is generally when I buy it because I use it a lot. Um, being 50 gram balls when you're working out your yarn for your pattern, make sure you have enough. Um, they do feel bulky and big for 50 gram, but they're not. It's not a 100 gram ball. Um, this is my own opinion. There's, I, no one paid me or gave me this product. I bought it myself. It's my personal opinion. Um, some people will agree with me. Some people won't agree with me. I've just found that websites don't always put negative opinions, only positive opinions. Recently, I sent off a negative opinion to a website on another yarn, and it's never been posted. All that's on their website is positive reviews, and that's not really helpful. Because you go out and I was really disappointed. You go out and buy it and it doesn't work and it's shocking. And you think, well, that was a, a failure and, and it can be an expensive failure. So there you go. Baby Tiss from Spotlight. Um, I guess if I'm a witch out of five brooms, I'd give it a four and a half. I really like this yarn. I suggest you give it a try if you're looking for something a 
little sparkly and blingy for a little girl. Um, there you go. If you like this review, subscribe to my channel if you want some more reviews on different yarns, which I will be doing. I buy yarn from all over the world and, um, and I try them out. Later this year I'll be going to Estonia and checking out their knitting market, so that'd be great. Um, give this th video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, don't be too mean. I don't have flashy nail polish and all that. I'm just average girl doing an average job. Enjoy your next whip project. Bye.